Right, that is it. We're calling the cops again. What have you done with the real Betty Eggleton? The real Betty Eggleton had friends that cared about her. Yes, and the real Betty Eggleton wouldn't bear a grudge. And she definitely won't let a sausage go cold. Cold? No. What does that remind me? Ah, oh, yes, that's it. Your icy little heart. It's my new sister-in-law over there. She lives at home farm. Her son's just been up in youth court. Do you want to know why? Nope. Come on, I want the old Betty back. This is no fun. Neither is being forgotten about. I'm sure they're large. Few drinks are gonna win me over. Yeah, but you'll give it a good you try, go. though. Oh! In honor of your return, we have come at the end of this bar to pay homage to your good self. Betty Eggleton, this is your life! Yeah. You couldn't knock me down with the feather. Oh, oh, give the cat another goldfish. <laughs> oh, the last tin of salmon. <laughs> oh, hey. Speechless. We've been run ragged making it special for you. You shouldn't have gone to all this trouble for little old me. You didn't ever let us live it down if we hadn't. We really have missed you. And we are sorry that we lost touch. Have you back has been a delight. <laughs> and I'm sorry I didn't read your messages. I don't blame you for kicking off. Oh, what's a bit of junk mail between pals? <laughs> oh, so we are friends now then. Uh -huh. Hey, hey. Lend me your fan a minute, love. See what I can do with it. Yeah. So have I go away. Oh, lovely. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Hashtag. Still got it. <laughs> I didn't have any more. Oh, I suppose Debbie's been chewing your ear off. Huh? Uh, how about you make a big of it? She knows I used to love a good scrap. What are you going on about? Huh? Oh, she asked me to talk Ross out of fighting. He's, uh, he's got himself on this uh, bare knuckle circuit with this Charlie fella. Well, you know, she shook up about it, you can tell. And what's it to her? Huh? Well, my family soon, won't it? Looking out for Pete. It's time for a speech. Oh. Now, come on, you lot. Hush up. Your guest of honour oh. would like to say a few words to you all. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, honestly. I was as pleased as Punch to see you all here tonight to welcome me back. It's unforgettable. But I have a confession to make. The truth is, I pulled a fast one. That banner shouldn't say, welcome home. It should say, bon voyage. You're never going on holiday again. <laughs> no, not this time, love. But, you see, I've met someone. His name is Reuben Archibald. He's a lovely, lovely man, and he makes me very happy. There's only one little snag. The awkward swine lives on the other side of the world. <laughs> All right, then, so ship him over here. <laughs> no, he's uh, set in his ways, unlike me, who uh, has always got adventure in my heart. So, <laughs> it's... It's, it's thank you and goodbye to all of you. I fly back to Oz tomorrow. Well, Wendy, it's an understatement. But, Betty, if you hardly know him, Oh, I know the important 
bits? As long as he can keep you in the style to which you've become accustomed. I pay my own way. Brass has got now to do with it. Oh. So if you're shacking up together. You can have a whirlwind romance and not shack up. Where's the fun in that? Oh, don't even say it, Edna. We're as happy as pigs in muck. And we don't want anyone to say different. Listen. You have my heartfelt congratulations. Oh. We're all overjoyed for you. <laughs> so you know it's off the market. Found a buyer. I'm not surprised someone snapped it up. No hard feelings? Yeah, thanks. Anyway, better go. Lots to organise. Yeah, of course. How exciting. Just having a bit of a moment. Oh, end of an era, eh? Well, she still wants me to keep up to date with all the gossip, and I have to be the eyes and the ears of the village now. <laughs> well, you've definitely got the uniform for it. <laughs> oh, because I kiss you. <laughs> oh, I think it's getting a little bit creepy now. Then that wig needs to come off, oh. hasn't it? Mm. Adam, when Betty goes, I want you to use the key that I gave you. Like, I mean, I think you should move in. Yeah, when the time's right, for sure. Weren't you falling over yourself to marry me a few weeks ago? Yeah, I know, but look, you don't want to be sad up with a blow like me. Of course I do. And you know that's not why I turned you down. <sighs> you know what? You're impossible to figure out. I could say the same about you. No, oh, forget this, I'm going home. Why? Because I asked you to move in? No, because all this hot and cold stuff all the time is doing my head in, Vic. You no, know, if you made your mind up in the first place, things wouldn't even be like this. Like what? Adam, 